Well, the world's biggest refugee camp is in Kenya. The Dadaab facility in northeastern Kenya was established in 1991 and has been home to thousands of mostly Somali refugees. The East African nation is also home to another refugee camp, Kakuma, established back in 1969. Both are managed by the United Nations Refugee Agency, UNHCR. To tell us more about what goes on in those camps, Yvonne Degg, spokesperson UNHCR in Kenya, joins me live via Skype from Nairobi. Good evening. Good evening, Yvonne. Good evening, Vincent. Yes, yeah, so a little bit about the numbers of refugees in Kenya, please, if you can. Well, first and foremost, thank you so much for taking the time to cover the whole issue of refugees, um, not just across the world, but here, obviously, in Kenya, where we have about half a million uh, refugees present. Most of them reside in two camps in Kenya, in northern Kenya. You mentioned in the introduction Dadaab, one of the oldest refugee camps in the world, mainly a refugee camp um, with Somalis, people affected by the situation in Somalia. And there are over 250,000, roughly, uh, Somali refugees living in Dadaab refugee camp. And then again in northern Kenya, in Turkana, County Kakuma refugee camp has again around 230 220,000 refugees, mainly from South Sudan. And then this might surprise some of your viewers here in the capital Nairobi, we have what you call urban refugees, and that comes to around or well, they number around 60 70,000. Those are people who uh, basically exist and live in the capital, Kenya's capital, and try and find means to support themselves. Now, in the situations I've described in Dadaab refugee camp and Kakuma refugee camp, uh, we call this within UNHCR, these are protracted refugee situations. And what that basically means is that these are not fresh crises, these are not new crises. Um, it's been ongoing, as you mentioned in the intro, for decades. And these are people who have come and gone over decades. Um, most of them depend almost exclusively on humanitarian aid uh, from UNHCR, the UN Refugee Agency, and uh, our partners. But we are doing what we can to try and build self-reliance mm -hmm. and now, empowerment for uh, refugees. Uh, tell us a, a little bit about that. What are some of the programs you're running in those pro uh, refugee camps? Well, uh, good question. Uh, as I was just trying to explain, uh, when you look at the background to these places, uh, what has tended to happen in the past is that people have arrived from places like South Sudan um, and Somalia, and we've been there to protect, to provide basic services, uh, water, uh, sanitation, uh, medical care, uh, education, uh, food, obviously, and other uh, essentials uh, for life. Um, but given that these situations um, have been um, existing for so long, for decades, in recent times, our approach as an organization has changed uh, fairly radically um, to looking at uh, programs and activities and initiatives that help to build self-reliance among refugees, among refugees, so that they can somehow stand on their own two feet. Now, whether that's um, running small businesses, whether that's informal trading, um, whether that's gaining vocational skills um, such as uh, carpentry, uh, such as sewing, um, and, and various other um, skills that we hope, we think they can use within their setting, within their displacement setting, but for those who may one day return to their homeland, skills that will be useful. And that has been our focus as an organization, particularly in the Kenya refugee situation, as I say, to do what we can to build um, self-reliance um, among refugees and to empower ultimately refugees. All of this against the backdrop, of course, of ever reducing, ever dwindling uh, funding. UNHCR is, is run on voluntary contributions, primarily from government, but a tiny percentage now coming from private sector organizations, but mainly from governments. And as you'll be aware, funding around crises like the refugee crisis has been reducing. Oh. Hence the need oh. to ensure that refugees are able to not just sit there passively waiting for handouts from the humanitarian uh, world, but finding ways of standing on their own two feet and using the skills which they arrived with.
Well, Yvonne, uh, I want to thank you very much uh, for joining us from Nairobi. Uh, thank you for the information. My, my pleasure. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Yvonne Dege is the spokesperson for UNHCR in Kenya.